Well, Amazon and Nike are reportedly eyeing a potential bidding war over home fitness company Peloton after months of financial challenges. Sales of Peloton exercise bikes and treadmills soared during the pandemic lockdown, but then they slowed as restrictions eased. In a new memo, Spotify CEO Daniel Ek called pod podcast host Joe Rogan's past use of racial slurs, quote, incredibly hurtful, but does not believe in silencing him. This comes as Spotify faces controversy over Rogan's comments on race and COVID misinformation. A number of artists and podcasters have ditched the platform over the escalating drama. And as shares of tech company Meta fell 26% last week, it's been revealed that privacy changes made by Apple and other factors last year are beginning to affect the social, social media company's bottom line. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg says that Apple's app tracking transparency feature will cut $10 billion out of Meta's earnings this year alone. And here to break it all down for us is CBS News technology reporter Dan Patterson. All right, Dan, so good morning and Explain to us uh, what we need to know about Apple's app tracking transparency feature and why the company is implementing it. Hi, Anne-Marie. So Apple introduced app tra tracking transparency and a few other privacy tools last year in iOS 14.5 and 15. And these tools turned off a unique identifier number that some apps were using to gather a ton of data about how you use not just the apps, but other apps on your phone. They also introduced a pop-up notification that gave users a little more control and a little more transparency, as they said, into how apps gather their data. App tracking feature sounds like something uh, that they uh, created just to test anchors who have to anchor very early in the morning. It's hard to say, but why is this feature a problem for Meta? Well, look, app tracking transparency is just one of a number of challenges that uh, Facebook or Meta is kind of at the intersection of. Uh, one is these uh, app tracking tools that might have cut into their bottom line, but the other is just pure competition from apps like TikTok and a decline in DAU, that's daily active users. Uh, the other is their... $10 billion pivot to VR last year. This is expected to go up to maybe $50 billion over the next 10 years. And to be honest, VR is still an unproven technology. Okay, so obviously it's a problem for uh, Zuckerberg, but does any of this actually affect everyday users? Well, in many ways, uh, Meta has already deprecated what they call the big blue app. That's core Facebook because they're putting emphasis, priority on VR and what they call the metaverse. So uh, expect the company to double down on VR. We expect new headsets that are much higher resolution and will, of course, track data a lot better this coming fall. So if you care about VR and the metaverse, yeah, these changes impact you quite a bit. If you don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, Dan, thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to see you too.